welcome to the Arcade Saga. My name is Ilkjom Wiersma, also known as EJ. So yes, today I'm going to uh, do an update on all my Sibidiums. I have a few, not that much, because they uh, over, are over here and as you can see they are uh, pretty uh, large. Uh, I, I have two smaller ones, but the rest is uh, fairly big. And uh, this week I did a, a repot on my oldest one. And I have a little clip of it because I was uh, very impressed about uh, the root system. Uh, and I, I did expect a little less uh, roots, but anyhow, I turned up to have a great root system on this one. And I needed to cut off the bottom part because otherwise it wouldn't fit in, the, in its newest pot, which is more, um, it's not as deep. So I need to cut off uh, quite some roots, which I hate doing, but it had to be happen. And with some bidiums and with some other orchids, Sometimes if you cut the roots, they will uh, start to uh, uh, expand again. There's a very large motor, motorcycle uh, out, of, out there on the, on the road, so maybe you can hear it. Anyhow, it's a little bit distracting. But um, so they, the roots will start to shoot out, to branch out, I should say. So it will be fine. But yeah, I don't like cutting in, uh, in, in healthy uh, tissue. But uh, yeah, I, I didn't have another option because I didn't have another pot at least as wide as, uh, as uh, this orchid needed. So anyhow. And also, about a year ago, I did a repot, if I'm correct, three new Cymbidiums into the system. Uh, in that video, I will link it in the end, uh, also a care guide on my Cymbidiums. Uh, but in that video, you will see that I take them out of the pot and I leave the media on there. Even though I grow in self-watering with my Cymbidium as well, I leave the media on there because otherwise I, I need to completely destroy the root system and I thought uh, back in the days, I think it's about six or seven years ago, uh, I tried it with my oldest one, I put it in a pot uh, just uh, from the one with organic media into a new setup with inorganic media, the pumice and lacquer around it and it did uh, perfectly fine as you just saw, it had a beautiful root system so uh, that suited me and I think the arc is a little bit better, just leave the roots uh, as they are as much as we can. And I just uh, did film that just to see, uh, to let you guys see that it can be done in this case. Well, at least we're going to do an update and I assume it's, uh, they're doing well. They're looking okay. So uh, I hopefully have quite some roots with the other symbioms as well. So I'm going to take them one by one and uh, we, like I said, we will have an update on the whole plan. So uh, let's go. Well, first of all, I'm going to start with the uh, update on how I have set them now with setup I use and I'm referring to the lights. They have now their own lights. Because last year I did have some spike, but not as much, so I thought they can use a little bit more light. It's a little bit darker over here in the greenhouse. So that's new. And this is the oldest one. So this is in a bigger tray now. Because it starts to grow become fairly big, but it's not as deep as the buckets I have uh, had normally in or had this one in. So that's why I needed to cut the roots. And it's just uh, a few days back, so it still looks fine and I think it will be fine. We have a new growth over here in the back, another one. So, but I'm leaving uh, this here because uh, it's quite heavy and we just saw the root system, so I think it's okay. And I cannot now not show it, the roots anymore because I cannot take it out. But the rest is in a bucket or a pot. And this is a little bit of a warmer grower, if I'm uh, correct. I have the name tag here. This is it. Beautiful uh, little green, yellowish blooms. But I uh, did hear from somebody who grows this as well. It's a little bit of a warmer grower, so that's why it does, doesn't uh, stand as close to the floor as these guys. So let's see if that uh, one will do better. Actually, I did a repot on this one as well, but I, this is a smaller part, so we can take it out. Anyhow, I'm going to set uh, the camera back on the tripod and uh, I will uh, try to manage to get them out of here and uh, so we can have a close-up. So let's go! So here is the first one. And um, this is a known name, if I'm correct, but it's a commercial name. So if I have a picture of the blooms, I will show them as well. And this was, well, actually 20. So I might have this longer, or uh, the video is a little bit older, um, the repost video, and put it in, because it's now 24, obviously. So, and it was in September. So here we go, let's have a look. 
and there's no water in there it's already dry so I uh, could give this a little bit more water we have a beautiful root over here this is I hope you can see it there at the finger it's a little bit uh, hard to film oh I'm sorry the leaves are everywhere now <laughs> and it's quite heavy but we have more roots over here there's one and there is one there's another one so this one is doing fine it wasn't as big so I would expect that this one needs a little bit more time to really start filling the pot up the pot is fairly big as you can see with roots but uh, I can see that I need to water this more because it's already dry but we have a new growth over here and um, this is a fairly new one yes this and there and there so that's uh, five and I think this is a new growth as well so there's six six new growths and number seven it's over here right you cannot see it let me turn it around so there <laughs> there's another one so yeah so far this one is, uh, is doing fine absolutely fine let's uh, grab another one and here we go with the next one look at those leaves <laughs> this one is fairly slightly bigger than the other one it's an old leaf that's okay so the way let's see we have an intake yes this is anisa Sibirian anisa also from the 22 so these are about two years now in these pots and don't forget it's just like i said i just took them out of the older pot and put them in here and the last one did very well as we just saw with the new roots no problems there older leaf here as well let's take it out this one is very lightweight as well so that means that it doesn't have water not much in the pot i need to water them more they're drinking more than i assumed yeah it's dry oh uh, so sad there was a root on on the need to pot i didn't see it it just did break it can you see it there they are oh, i had no idea but anyhow it's okay but we have obviously roots absolutely beautiful uh how am i going to do this <laughs> i hope you can see them i can barely see what i'm doing we have roots over here my thumb there we are uh, maybe on the back side yeah there we have more this is easier because the leaves are on this way here we have more beautiful roots coming we have a root there a quite a lot of roots over here beautiful new growing tip on this one so yes i need to water them away more and i like to use i like to reuse the vendor water on these guys so they have a little bit more uh, uh, they I feed them a little bit extra here and there especially in summer than usual than other orchids but these can take a little bit more sweet so I like to mix it one uh, time I will use some fender water that's around 200 250 parts per million and then I use my regular feed with all the other, other orchids and that's around 80 most of the times nowadays in summer but uh, this one is uh, doing also pretty well so we have seven new growths. We have one here, another one here. There's two, three, four, five, six. At least six, as I can see. So uh, pretty good, I should say. I can say. Uh, anyhow, uh, let's uh, let's do the next one. <laughs> so there we are. This one is slightly smaller, as you can see. We have a new growth here and another one here. And this is the yellow one. So fairly uh, even yellow colored one so all the leaves here are still quite attached so this is not that long in my care I don't see a tag on here it doesn't have a name at all normally I always give my hair uh, arcs a plant uh, a, um, a plant a, a tag but this one lost it I think I'm trying to get it out which is not as easy there we go Oh, this one is the, has a little bit of water in it still. Ah, there we go. Do we have roots? This one is not as big. So I'm checking. I'm checking for roots. Let's, uh, let's have a look. Plant itself. And the pot. I don't see any roots on the outside yet. But that's okay. It's a fairly small one. No, no roots. 
but anyhow, it's still looking pretty well. It's in not a very small one, but a medium sized. I would class this one. Beautiful yellow one. Like I said, I think about it this year or last year, but I don't have a deadline in my collection. But it's looking pretty fine. So let's uh, grab another one. I have more. <laughs> So here we are, and this is the last one of the very biggest one that I have. This is called Symbidium Joker. I believe this is the white with pink one, if I'm correct. It's a very nice one. And let's put a tag that we have an obvious new growth here. This is a fairly new one. Another one here, so three, four, at least four. Maybe we have more. I can just put a lot of... Uh, Greenery. Let's uh, take it out of the pots. We can have a look at it inside of the pots. Uh, it's not that easy with these guys. There we go. Also very dry. But look at this. <laughs> oh my, oh my. This is stunning. Look at the roots. Yeah, this is obviously a very large one. So uh, we might assume to have more roots and it's uh, correct in this case. Beautiful. Beautiful, this is the plant itself. But also the pot is uh, almost completely dry, so that means that I really need to water them more. At least the big ones. Oops, there's a leaf stuck now. Let's get it out. But yeah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So far I think they uh, like the extra light. They're growing very well and really using their, uh, their moisture as we just saw, creating these beautiful new growths. So I hope that this season I will have a, a bit better uh, flower spikes on them, that they get a little bit stronger. But I, I learned uh, from today that I need to water them better, more often probably. Anyhow, let's, uh, let's go to um, the last two. Here we go. So let's uh, grab my smallest one. And I'm a little bit sweaty because it's so warm. Beautiful. I love the heat. But... If you start doing thing and things and lifting quite heavy plants, yeah, you start sweating a little bit. I apologize. Um, but anyhow, this is my smallest one. So therefore, I took the camera up again. It's a little bit easier on my back as well. But uh, yeah, beautiful. We have, uh, let me see, two new growths. It started uh, with two new directions of growth. This is very, you can already see it. The older leaves are a little bit darker, so they're nice. Uh, lighter green ones are the new growths. So we have one here and another one there. You can see it, those two. This is also a new ID. Yeah, I call it Symbidium Mini Little Pink. So it has pink flowers and it's number seven. So I can uh, find it in my notes. That's the only way, but I don't have a name for it. But it's a beauty, absolutely beauty, if you ask me. And I can see on the top of the pot that we have at least uh, quite some uh, beautiful roots. This is from February 24, as you hopefully can see. So it's uh, not that old. This is my newest one. Uh, yeah, February, March, April, May, June. So it's some four month updates, which, uh, which is nice. I think, I hope. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's, uh, oops, I'm sorry, you guys, I need to, there we go, there we go, let's see where, camera here, so here you can, you can see, it's uh, the old media, again, that it just left, it's falling in between the pommers over here, but you all could, so hopefully you can see the beautiful roots, look at this guy over here, really going for it, and another one here, don't, no roots coming out of the bottom of the pot yet, there go some pebbles. We have a beautiful new one over here. So a beautiful uh, update. After four months, it's really doing really well. It's really going for it. I know, I noticed that when I bought it, it was absolutely bone dry and it was on sale. That's why I bought it because I already had so many. I didn't have a small one as this yet. And I just couldn't resist. I, I paid maybe 7 euros for it, something like that, so it was fairly cheap, I believe. I think that's in dollars, 8, 8 and a half, maybe 9 dollars, that's it, I think. So I felt, yeah, why not, why not, because the size, I love the size of it. And I'm happy it did, it, it really took off. And it started with two new growths, it had one direction of growth, and it started with two ones, so two new growths. 
So uh, I'm really looking for uh, for this one to have uh, have flowers. I'm I think I didn't show it. I'm not sure. Maybe I have a picture and you probably already saw it. But um, because it was so dry, the, the blooms weren't uh, healthy uh, anymore. I believe so, or at least uh, it didn't bloom for long. I'm not completely sure anymore. It's from memory, but I. At least I noticed that it has pink flowers. So uh, yeah, this is uh, this one. And now we uh, the last one is the warmer grow we just briefly saw. Let's uh, let's take that one and then now we have a look at all my symbolism. So here we are with the last one. Just one more time. The tag those who want to know. Oops, let me out of the way. There we go. I did repot it in um, June 24. So I noticed it was very recent. Recently. Um, because this one grows a little bit slower than the rest, probably because I have it in winter a little bit too cold for this, I'm not completely sure, but it just it doesn't drink as much, but it still has a beautiful root system. Uh, I did expect a little less roots, but it's doing okay. It's just a little bit slow, or slower growing. Maybe because I did don't care, I can give it um, the temperature that it needs. I'm not sure. I didn't look in, really into it, but. Uh, well, nowadays, obviously, I'm sweating. It's very warm. This, this one should be very happy. <laughs> but uh, it's okay. And it blooms for me every year, so that's fine. But, um, yeah, as you can see, this one had some older roots in there. I was afraid of that. But I left them there. They were very dark. And I thought it all would be dead. But that wasn't in the, the case when I did repot it. They looked very dark. I'm not completely sure. But where is it? Here. Here, this is a beautiful example, I'm sorry. Uh, I hope this is in focus. Oh, it's hard to see now. Yeah, there we are, I'm sorry. But look at this, this is a new, this is the growing tip, white and then, look at that. So that's why I left those old roots. I just feel it and if they are not soft, I'm leaving there because they are not dead, believe it or not. And this one is a beautiful example of that. Otherwise you might think, yeah, yeah, EJ, what are you talking about? But uh, yeah, it's it's the truth. Not all of them. You can see I had some ve some venom taken off of some of them. But uh, also here, just next to my finger, I shot my camera actually. Another new growth. But it, uh, on the roots, it will be fine. It will absolutely be fine. But that's why it looks a little bit less perfect. But this one has a bit of the older root, but it still has a nice color. But this one, these ones are a little bit uh, darker. And this is what I meant with taking the venom off. It's just the actual root there. And I even have here quite an airspace as you can see, but I hope you can see that light of point in there as well. There's also a new roots. Also a new roots. And what does my eye cut over here? This is a weed you can go. That is the start of a new growth. I believe this might be excess flower spike because it doesn't look the same. Maybe because of the heat, I don't know. And this one is matured. It's a new growth. It just matured. So uh, it reached maturity. <laughs> so I think that this actually might be a spike on this one. That would be cool, wouldn't it? But yeah. So it can happen. Sometimes you have some, uh, some darker looking uh, roots. Don't cut them off yet. Just feel it. If they are firm and strong, I would uh, suggest just leave them there. And later on, if they die off, you can start flushing the orchid if you really want to get rid of the velament. I don't do it, as you know. I don't flush. Barely. Only after a repot. And mine do fine. So. But yeah, it's not always the same. The conditions are different, of course. But uh, for me, uh, yeah, I think we can say that these uh, symbiotes are doing fine. So uh, that was it. Okay, I'm going to put it back and uh, then you will see me again. <laughs> So yes, you guys, <laughs> 29 degrees, and this is a very cheap one, so maybe it may be a little less warm, but uh, yeah, we didn't have the heat yet, the warmth yet in, uh, in our uh, country, Alex, in the whole Europe, uh, if I'm correct. A lot of rain, so yeah, maybe <laughs> my body just need to get used to it a little bit. I, I love the, the, these temperatures. It doesn't have to be this hot, but in general, I can take it. I really, really do enjoy it as uh, most of my orchids, but anyhow, so, uh, but yeah, doing some he heavy lifting is okay, but yeah, then I did get a little bit sweaty. So here they are. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm happy. I'm absolutely happy what I saw. I don't take them out that much, as you can imagine, 
for uh, admit it, uh, I think, because first of all, of course, they're very heavy. All those leaves, I need to put them back, and, and I didn't do well here. So, um, yeah, that's why I don't uh, like to take them out. They have their space. To be honest, maybe I could do without one or two of those big ones, but they are here, they are doing well, and oh, yeah, I've, I just leave them there. <laughs> but I really enjoy growing the smaller ones as well. This one is very, very beautiful, uh, I think. Actually, completely different than this one. This one, as you can see now, I think, has uh, way smaller leaves, so it's a, almost a complete uh, different plant. As it looks but it's still a cymbidium but i think it's a walnut grower so like i said i have a care video on uh, my cymbidiums i did put it in uh, in uh, the end of the video as well as the uh, repotting on those three there uh, but still of course feel free if you have any questions please let me know but uh yeah for now thank you for watching and i really hope you enjoyed this video uh, i hope to see you at one of my next ones <laughs> bye bye